Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could now have fresh opportunities with big stars after their deal with Spotify came to an end last week, according to Kay Gorinath, the owner of a production company. Now that they are no longer tied to Spotify, Mr. Gorinath explains how the Sussexes can now finally pursue other projects with other big names which they weren't allowed to do under the legal obligations of their £18 million contract with the streaming giant. The couple's deal with Spotify meant that the streaming giant could platform the Archetypes podcast, which was hosted by Megan. The podcast featured celebrities and friends of the couple, including Mariah Carey and Serena Williams. Despite these huge household names, only 12 episodes of the podcast were made until the two parties made a statement that they had mutually agreed to part ways. Since stepping back as senior royals, the couple have been involved with various other projects, such as launching their own organization for philanthropic endeavors, Archetype, where they've teamed up with the likes of World Central Kitchen to help with disaster relied in countries such as Dominica and India. Prince Harry's questionable podcast pitch to interview Putin and Donald Trump asked on the possibilities of future ventures for the couple after their Spotify exit, the founder of Exquisite Productions said, I think they should go down a far more wholesome route and think more about establishing a more friendly brand. He added that the Sussexes are currently sitting on an absolute gold mine after their Spotify exit and said they have a lot of talent that is currently untapped. If they were to go down the more wholesome route, Mr. Gorinath said that their future ventures could include writing fictional books, speaking at conferences, or even restarting the TIG, the Duchess of Sussex's former blog. But most exciting is the very real possibility of the couple doing another shocking TV show now they are free agents, according to Mr. Gorinath. We could potentially see a follow-up series of their Netflix original six-part documentary series which explored the span of their relationship, ranging from the beginning of the couple's courtship, to the tension and controversies that caused them to feel forced to take a step back from the royal family. Don't miss. Harry suffering after leaving royal family behind, says Italian Prince, latest, despite the fact it caused a huge uproar the last time around, it would certainly be a lucrative way for the couple to augment their ever-growing presence amongst the big stars in public life, the expert said. With that being said, there are question marks over whether or not a major television streaming company would want to give the couple a platform, given the couple's diminishing popularity. A YouGov poll that came out on Thursday showed that Meghan's net favorability has plummeted to minus 47, which is the lowest it has been since the pollsters started recording her popularity ratings in 2017. Although, her husband Prince Harry had a slight improvement in his ratings since January, with his favorability rising to minus 36 from minus 44. By establishing a more friendly brand the Sussexes could potentially change the public's perception of them, the marketing expert suggests. And whilst many think that the Sussexes have thrown away a golden opportunity, perhaps with another lucrative deal, the couple can continue to make bank as Mr. Gorinath describes it, 